Good morning, let's go get some breakfast. So what is new? Just waiting in queue. You done on a me, what was done on a you? It's hard to forget, but I get confused. Trying to be strong, and yet I still lose. Oh no. Hey mga doc, welcome to this week's vlog. I will take you with me as we prepare for our first exam for second year. If we haven't met yet, my name is Grace Nariza. I'm a second year med student in Cebu, Philippines. So let's get started. So it's Monday, September 14. So the usual routine is that we get at least two lectures. It may be live or it may be pre-recorded throughout the week and then it's up to us how to divide our time into studying. Now we're just waiting for our doctor. He's gonna give us a lecture regarding physical examination of the head and the neck. So that's not our strong suit but we're gonna try. before our second lecture of the day and I've been very productive. I have read around six pages for the past hour. Just kidding, I gave myself a break. After my nap, I'm watching Will and Grace. class and we're ready for badminton so i forgot that our lecture was moved to 10 a.m and it's 9 and i was rushing i was rushing i forgot that it was moved an hour late so we're gonna be pinching for time later on so we have one more hour to study oh and have breakfast she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper. We're running on three hours of sleep for today because it's a busy day. First, we're gonna do an errand for our organization. Next, we're gonna have an RT-PCR testing because apparently in order to undergo an outpatient procedure, you have to get an RT-PCR COVID-19 test. And that just makes sense. I agree. Mean, and lastly, the most important highlight for my day is that I get to play badminton after 8 long months. 8 long months without badminton, so... Thank you, Kuya Joel, for inviting me. Saturday, I haven't been vlogging or talking to you for the past two days because it was just a routine of 
of waking up, going to my friend and studying with them on a workspace. We followed safety protocols and we only stayed within the group. And yeah, so today is a bit, I chose today to film this. We have an incoming interview with Guya Luis. He has this series of interviews together with students of different medical schools. Just so you know, you could guess, get a grasp of which medical school fits you better or what do they think of medical schools. But of course, it's not official. It was just a personal take on each school. Oh, and before I forget, oh, it's two days before an exam. So I'm going to try to show you how I manage my time. Currently, we're answering the, qu the questions he just sent me because, you know, as a crammer, I left this to the last minute. Our interview is at 10 a.m. and it's 9.17. It's not a very, very, very detailed answer. I just want to, you know, list down the things I want to say. I didn't want to miss a part or something. Or maybe I'm just nervous because I'm not used to interviews. Okay, bye! We just had our lunch and we're gonna go upstairs to start today's study. So almost, almost, five, almost 1 p.m. It's almost 1 p.m. and we're gonna go upstairs to go back to studying. Alright, I'll say hi. Bye. Both called it from the beginning. Called it. We knew that the right to be nice. So it's currently 4 p.m. We just received an email for an invite for a practice test. It's something we have to do every time we have a scheduled test. So what's gonna happen is like, I'm just gonna take a dry run for my test. So if you've noticed, we have lost our corkboard right here. Because any writing or any book near you or um, another person near you could be flagged as a prospect for cheating or something like that but that it lowers your score on how credible you are that you're not cheating so yeah i'm just gonna take that test and then resume studying for the rest of the day so i'm not sure if i'm gonna be vlogging anymore because it might get boring and yeah keep on watching bye you you deserve the moon wish i could bring it home to you Baby, you deserve the moon. Good morning. It's exam day. Let's get ready. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. That concludes our PBL2 first exam where it got more clinical. And I feel good about this exam maybe because we prepared for it since it's the first exam and there's not much backlogs compared to other the other times i had exams anyway we're waiting for my friend she's gonna come and pick me up so yeah as i was saying we're waiting for my friend lois she's gonna come and pick me up because we have this mini shoot for a certain product that our organization will be launching for a fundraising this coming pinktober if you're gonna be paying attention to the next few clips you might have an idea what is our product to be launched and i hope you head to our facebook page and ig uh this is for a cause you know support the cause while staying stylish yeah so today's gonna be a busy day ahead because aside from that mini shoot we're gonna have to study because i'm behind three i'm behind three lectures slash three chapters for our pharmacology subject however this is where being a pharmacist pays off i'm somewhat familiar with how the introduction will go. So yeah, we're just gonna go and prepare. Let's go, Lois! Don't kill no Oh, new friend! <laughs> Hey guys, this is Grace, two weeks from the video you have just watched. So we have now taken three exams. Anyway, as of this moment, we have now launched the Toddoy Project, which is a fundraising for breast cancer patients. So I will link it down below if you want to purchase or you're a fan of tote bags or necklaces 
or sweets in general. So come on, support the cause. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you had fun. You know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe. Until then, see you in the next video, mga dogs.